subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Sumatran Rhinoceros. Hero, here boy. Hi everybody, my name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play a game of hide and seek. I'm gonna close my eyes and count to 10. You hide and then I'll come and find you. You ready? One, two, three. Eight, nine, 10. I'm coming to find you, Hero. Oh, Hero, where are you? Aha! Whoa, you're not, Hero. Hey, you're stuck in a trap. Who did that to you? Let me help you. Easy. I'm just trying to help you. If you struggle, the trap will hurt you. There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? It looks like it dragged itself all the way here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, Rhino. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the baby rhino. Bingo! This rhino is a Sumatran rhinoceros. A Sumatran rhinoceros? Yes. Sumatran rhinos come from the rainforests of Indonesia specifically in Sumatra, Sabah, and Borneo. They used to be seen in parts of Malaysia as well. But not anymore? Some people believe that horns from rhinos are a miracle medicine, and people have been hunting them for a long time. Right now, there are possibly less than 80 Sumatran rhinos left alive. That trap from earlier was probably set by one of the hunters. Less than 80? Can't the zoos help protect them? Sadly, no. Only five rhinos have been born in zoos in the last 125 years. Rhinos need to be in the wild or they won't have babies. We've got to get this baby rhino back to his home and to his mother then. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. It's a she? Well, the females have shorter horns than the males and... Shh! Do you hear that? It's getting louder! <gasps> run! She's still injured! She can't run! I'll distract the rhino! I'll take care of this, Junior Rangers. Run! Looks like they've gone. Phew! That was close. We must have gotten too close to that rhino's home. Which way now? We got lost while running away from the rhino. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the rhino's mother, just look for a hot spring. Not for a swing or a diamond wedding ring, but look for a hot spring. I see. So not for a swing or a diamond wedding ring, but, but look, look for, for a hot spring. spring. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young rhino's mother, 
You have to look for a hot spring. Good luck. Okay, hero. There are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the rhino's mother. Can you see what those are? Yeah, those are just rocks. Let's continue. There's no hot spring here, but those are strange markings in the dirt. We must be getting close. Is that a hot spring? Yes, it is. And there's a rhino. Good job, hero. We're coming over. Oh, no. That's the rhino that was chasing us earlier. Careful, baby rhino. So it was her mother all along. She wasn't chasing us. She was trying to get her baby. We did it! We found the mother of the baby rhino! Yay! We found a baby rhino in our garden. And it was a Sumatran rhinoceros. We learned that there are very few rhinos left. If they continue to be hunted, they might disappear forever. So we went to the rainforest and brought the baby rhino back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The yellow-footed rock wallaby. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Come and skip, Hero. I'm ready for you. One, two, three. Oh, is that a kangaroo? Look how well it's skipping, Hero. And what is this? It looks like the baby of the kangaroo. They look smaller than a kangaroo. I wonder what they are. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. Have you found out what our visitors are? Hi, Leo. Guess what? They are not kangaroos. They are wallabies. Wallabies? Wallabies and kangaroos are from the same family. But, as you have noticed, wallabies are smaller. The wallabies you found are yellow-footed rock wallabies. They are called rock wallabies because they live in rocky areas, on cliffs, and sometimes in caves. And they are mar... marsup... I think you were trying to say marsupial, Leo. And yes, they are marsupials, so they carry their babies in a pouch. Their babies are called joeys. Unfortunately, there aren't many yellow-footed rock wallabies left where they come from, which is in only a few parts in Australia. That means it's very important that we take them home. Come and join us. Yes, Leo. Let's do that. See you downstairs. With the jeep, we'll be there in no time. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think we hit something. Oh no, it's a flat tire, Leo. Don't worry, Katie, we have a spare tire, remember? What is it, Hero? Leo, this tire is also flat. Oh no, but we only have one spare tire. It must have happened because of all the rocks on the ground. Now we're stuck here. Hmm, there sure is a lot of grass here. Leo, 
We can fill one of the flat tires with grass. So even without air in it, the tire might stay firm. We just have to drive very careful. That's a great idea, Katie. But first, let me change the other tire. Done. Now let's pick some grass and fill this tire. <laughs> Helping us. Thanks, Wallabies. That's great. Now it won't take too long. Great job, everyone. Now we can drive again. Just don't drive too fast, Leo. The tire isn't strong enough for that. Got it, Katie. So very slowly. We made it. But what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. To make sure the wallabies have enough food, just look for a place with no rabbits or goats. Not for blue raincoats or big red boats, but look for a place with no rabbits or goats. I see. So not for blue raincoats or big red boats, but, but look, look for, for a place, place with, with no, no rabbits, rabbits or, or goats. goats. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to make sure the wallabies get enough food, you have to look for a place with no rabbits or goats. <coughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a place with no rabbits or goats. Look, there's a grassy area. Should we go there? No, because there are rabbits. Let's continue. Here's a rocky area with grass. Should we go there? No, because there are goats. So let's move on. How about this place? It looks like a nice rocky area with grass. Are there any rabbits or goats? No, but there are other wallabies. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it! We found a home for the yellow-footed rock wallaby and her joey! Yay! We found a yellow-footed rock wallaby and her joey in our garden. We learned that yellow-footed rock wallabies are endangered because there are other animals that eat the same food. So we took the wallaby and her joey to a place without rabbits or goats. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The South African cheetah. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I'm bird watching. We have to be really quiet and invisible, or we'll scare the birds away. Let's see what we can find. Over there? It's an owl, and it's fast asleep. Hey, there's some movement in those leaves. I think it's some kind of cat, but I've never seen a cat with fur like that before. <laughs> How strange. This cat sounds just like a bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So, did you find out what kind of cat it is? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The animal you found is actually a South African cheetah. And it's a cub, which means it's still young. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world. The cheetah is built for speed. It has a light, slender body and long, flexible legs. But even though the cheetah is a fast runner, it gets tired quickly after chasing prey. 
chasing prey, they eat other animals? Cheetahs feed on small to medium-sized animals, such as hares, birds, and antelopes. But the one you found is still a cub, so it needs milk from its mother. A mother cheetah also protects her cubs from predators and teaches them how to hunt. By the way, South African cheetahs live in deserts and grasslands in South Africa. And the one you found comes from this place. Hmm, the cheetah cub needs to be with its mother to get milk and learn how to hunt. We should return it to its home in South Africa. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. What? The jeep stopped working. I think the engine is overheated. We'll have to walk. Cheetah Cub! Look at those animal traps, Leo. They must be the illegal hunters that Ranger Rocky was looking for. After them! It's no use. They're too fast. If only we could run as fast as the cheetah. We can't run as fast as a cheetah, but we certainly can fly as fast as one. That's a great idea. Come on, everyone. Let's get the cheetah cub back. I can't get the cheetah cub out of the net unless we slow down. Hero, I need your help. <laughs> Gotcha, Cheetah Cub. No more hunting for these guys. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Excellent work, Junior Rangers. You've saved the Cheetah Cub and helped me catch these illegal hunters. What should we look for now? That's easy. If you want to find the Cheetah Cub's family, just look for rustling grass, not for an hourglass or a mountain pass. But look for rustling grass. I see. So not for an hourglass or a mountain pass, but, but look, look for, for rustling, rustling grass. grass. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. OK, Hero, to find the cheetah cub's family, you have to look for rustling grass. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the cheetah cub's family. Could the cheetah cub's family be in this grass? Hmm, there's nothing there. Let's continue. Do you see that? The grass is moving. That's a lioness. We better look somewhere else. What's this? The grass is moving. And there are chirping sounds. Those are cheetah cubs. And there's their mother. This must be our cheetah cubs family. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the cheetah cubs family. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! a South African cheetah in our garden. We learned that cheetahs are the fastest animals on land and that young cheetah cubs need to be with their mother. So we went to the savanna and brought the cheetah cub back to its family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Rothschild's giraffe. Hi, 
everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero. This is a remote control plane my uncle gave me. Do you want to see if it works? <laughs> okay, here we go. Woohoo! It's flying! Look, Hero. I'll make the plane turn. Oh no! My plane! Oh great! It looks fine! Oh wow! It's a giraffe! It's so tall! You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hey giraffe! Say cheese! Hi Katie! So what did you find? Hi Leo! The giraffe in our garden is a Rothschild's giraffe. Most giraffes have orange or brown patches on their legs. The Rothschild's giraffe, however, is the only giraffe with no markings on their legs from the knees down. But that's not all that makes the Rothschild's giraffe different. Rothschild's giraffes have five ossicones on their heads. Ossicones are horn-like shapes. Other giraffes have only two ossicones. Wow! So we have a very special giraffe in our garden. And guess what? The giraffe you found is still young. And it can grow to become almost twice as tall. That's up to six meters. Unfortunately, the Rothschild's giraffe is also one of the rarest giraffes in the world. Which means there are only a few of them left. Currently, wild Rothschild's giraffes live in protected areas in Uganda and Kenya in eastern Africa. Hmm. It's very important that we find a home for the giraffe in one of those protected areas. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. Leo? Let me take a look, Katie. Oh no, the rear wheels are stuck in the mud and we're in the middle of nowhere. What should we do? Hmm, let me see. We need to remove as much mud as we can from around the tires. That way the tires can get unstuck more easily. Okay, let's start digging. This should work. Now we have to look for twigs and dry leaves. If we place these under the tires and on the tire tracks, the tires can get a firmer grip. We should be able to drive out of the mud. Hmm, but I don't see any twigs lying around. That's okay, Leo. The giraffe is picking twigs for us. Smart giraffe! This should be enough. Thank you, Giraffe. Katie, you drive the Jeep, then I'll push it. Okay, Leo. It's working! Yay! Good work, guys! So, what should we look for now? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. To find the young Giraffe a home, just look for a Rothschild's giraffe herd, not for a hummingbird or a bowl of bean curd, but look for a Rothschild's giraffe herd. I see. So not for a hummingbird or a bowl of bean curd, but, but look, look for, for a Rothschild's, Rothschild's giraffe, giraffe herd. herd. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young giraffe a home, you have to look for a Rothschild's giraffe herd. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them could be a herd of Rothschild's giraffes. 
Is this a herd of Rothschild's giraffes? No, these are monkeys. Let's move on, hero. What are these? Hmm, these are zebras. So let's keep looking. Is this a herd of Rothschild's giraffes? Look at their white legs. It is a herd of Rothschild's giraffes eating from acacia trees. Well done, hero. We're coming over. Take good care, giraffe. We did it. We found the Rothschild's giraffe a home. Great job, everybody. Yay! Hooray! We found a Rothschild's giraffe in our garden. We learned that Rothschild's giraffes are protected in some places because there aren't many Rothschild's giraffes left in the world. So we took the giraffe to one of those places where it's protected so it can live with other Rothschild's giraffes. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs>